What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back with F1 2006 career mode once again. I feel like it's been the longest time since we've done an episode considering I actually pre-recorded the last few ones so time wise it's been very very uh, long time so uh, that sounded very intelligent. But anyway uh, I'm having a bit of a hard time actually trying to balance league racing, uh, MotoGP career mode and also this career mode as well. There's just not enough time in a particular week to uh, to squeeze it all in. There's always something that kind of misses out. So now it's F1 2006's turn. We'll have to wait and see. But here we are for the Japanese Grand Prix. We've come off the back of a couple of really good rounds in, in terms of this uh, career mode series. Um, building some solid momentum now heading into the final season. I believe this is the penultimate race of season four. And um, we also have a decision to make in terms of our contract because uh, our contract actually like runs out next week. We're going to do this race and then review our contract status with the team. And uh, if we have a good one, that could be that could be the offer with the top team that we're looking for. So let's get into it. Very very close to Mr. Rubens Barrichello. Maybe we can get him today. Welcome to Suzuka, Japan, for the penultimate qualifying session in the Formula One calendar. Suzuka is one of the most technical and demanding circuits and qualifying on pole here is no mean feat. Session one is about to start, so let's get on with the action. Right then, Japanese Grand Prix. I feel like this place is a bit of a curse for me uh, on this game. We never really seem to go well, despite the car always feeling amazing um, to drive. I feel like we nailed the circuit, but the AI is just very, very strong here. So for this one, we are going to be well and truly up against it. What are you guys doing? Get out of my way, please! Oh my goodness, three wide, down the back straight, that's what you want. Nico Rosberg hosts a new lap time. He won't be right. No! Forget about it altogether. Damn it. This has not been a good quality session. My banker lap was really, really slow. Um, I had that spin on the last lap, and now I've got traffic for the third one. This is going to be fun. Christian Alves sets a new qualifying lap time. He'll be disappointed with that. Just get out of the way, you idiots! Oh my goodness, why is why is the AI all partnered up? What are you guys doing? This cannot surely be a competitive lap. Well, yeah, but it's definitely not one now. You dickheads. Oh. Well, that's one way to end the session. I don't actually I don't think the session will be over. And we have one minute and fifty-eight seconds to go. Let's cross the line. And we will be seventeenth. So that's the end of quality. We Yep, you all saw what happened. We were actually able to get back out there. But we didn't have enough time to set a lap. We had enough time to start a lap, which in modern day Formula 1 would have been enough for us to actually get a time in. But you can't finish the lap after it clicks over to zero. So that was it. 18th place on an absolutely dreadful lap. We were 8 tenths up on our second lap, which we then made the mistake on. A 34-2 puts us in Q2. I easily think we could have been there. I don't know, was I just really bad 12 months ago when I was last playing this game? I don't know, but we're out of Q1. We'll continue in a few moments with the second knockout session where we'll decide grid positions 16 to 11. And if I could, I'd actually restart that session and try and do it again. But you can't do restart, so that's that. So there we have it, from 10th to pole, the grid order looks like this. 34 flat from Alonso. Even in Q3, that doesn't look that fast. They sh mm. They're still reasonably close to what the Q1 and Q time should be. I feel like we've really missed the trick today. That that's really annoying. Never never really got a chance to do anything. And I really haven't like, got any practice in either. I've got like two or three scratchy laps. But overall, I'm not into the flow of the circuit yet. And we've got to start the race. Oh dear. Now let's go at 5, and then we'll really push it on the fuel, and uh, we'll do it that way. So, starting from like 18th place, I think we are on the grid. 
Uh, the track is pretty narrow, so overtaking is going to be pretty tough, but I don't know. We, sh I don't know. It, it, I really don't have any expectations for this race. We, we might crash out. I'm just being brutally honest. We might crash out. It's such a narrow circuit, and there's going to be cars everywhere. But I'm going to do my best to get through. We need to get through just to get our, our stats up and, and look good uh, in terms of within our team and other teams as well. So, as we start this Japanese Grand Prix, wish me luck. Here we are at Suzuka Race Circuit for this year's Japanese Grand Prix. And the cars embark on their formation lap. As if things could not have gotten any worse. It's raining for the race. E even more so than ever now, I just want to survive this race. I just want to get through without any crashes and, and, and get that race finish. Um, if we can actually move forward, then that would be absolutely awesome. Um, we are on the intermediate tyres. We're, we're not on dry tyres, so I mean... There should be no excuses as to why we're slow, but if we are slow, then um, I'm not I'm not going to be surprised. Remember, you're out on intermediate tyres at the moment, so no heating the tyre through on the parade lap. If anything, you'll want to keep them cold. Really? What? Why do we want to keep them cold? Exactly? I'm genuinely curious. Like, why do we not want to put any heat in the tyres? It makes sense. Like, I mean. We want to look after the tyres, make sure they don't get too hot, but by the same token, we don't want to understeer off and into the gravel trap at turn one, am I right? Well, you told me not to heat up the tyres, but old mate in the Toro Rosso up ahead is sending him to high hell. Well, this is going to be interesting. Cold tyres, cold hands. I haven't even warmed up enough to be used to this game yet, but we're getting thrown straight into the deep end for this Japanese Grand Prix. Five red lights. Let's do this. The race is go, go, go! Slow start. I don't really want to go anywhere anyway, to be honest. Here come the drivers into turn one. Alonso leads out of the first corner. He's followed by Montoya. Next is Massa. Oh, the understeer is really, really understeery. I can't see where I'm going. This is... Both brilliant and scary at the same time. I'm putting full faith in everyone in front of me not to stuff it up. Oh, no, that's a mistake. Come on, we both know you can race better than this. I thought you wanted me to bring this home. Oh my goodness, we're getting overtaken by Albers. This is not what any of us wanted. I was just hoping to hold on to my position, to be honest. But now, we're in danger of getting the wooden spoon here. I can't see the corner. The spray is everywhere. I'm going to overtake this uh, Super Aguri. I thought it was a Honda initially, but no, there's no way a Honda should be back down here. That's going to be a corner cutting penalty. Even though I came back on the circuit, six seconds slow down. That's, that's pretty much ruined any chances of us getting through. Look at that, Alonso is going through the first sector split already. Oh, someone's got an engine failure. Who's that? Trilly? Oh, my teammate, of course. No! Man, this is not the race I wanted to be having. Fighting with the back markers. This is just... Ever oh my god. This is just evidence as to why this just shows perfectly how bad it is for the player in the rain literally can't compete Great last sector, the quickest you've been through there. We're, we're fighting it out for, for not finishing last in the dry we'd be right at the front well I don't know about this circuit but you guys have seen what the uh, kind of performances we've been putting in in the dry it's uh, it's absolutely mad but we're gonna get on with it see if I can find a rhythm another weather update the clouds are slowly starting to clear now, and the rain has lightened somewhat. Forecasts indicate that it will soon stop. Yes! That's what I want to hear, Mr. Brundle. Keep me posted. It looks dry now. It's literally only been 20 seconds since that last weather update. But look at the gap we've lost already. Two moves are out. Sectors 1 and 3. Repeat. Sectors 1 and 3. Oh, I've been touched. Come on, man. Oh. Cool. That guy's pitting. 
Well, that's that's just annoying. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Next up is Riken, and he's just made his pit stop. Question is though, is he on? Oh my god, is he pitted for inters again? If he's on intermediate tyres and it dries up, like with most of the field, if they have to come in again for for dry tyres, we could be back in the game. Okay, we're ready for you. Come in at the end of this lap. Because knowing the brutalness of this game, every time, every time I try to talk, engineer is all over it. Never know with this game, because. As soon as I pit, they might put wet tires on my car again, even though it's dry. So I, I'm I'm not gonna count my chickens just yet. It could be it could be all over Red Rover, but we never know. Christian Clean is getting a bit impatient up behind me. I'm gonna get overtaken into Spoon Curve. I think this is where we struggle the most. It's just mid corner speed. We just got so much understeer on intermediate tires, even even in the wet, like. That's where we really, really struggle up against the AI for some reason. What the hell? Those guys are in again. They just fit it on the last lap, but they're in again. I don't understand. You've been watching the fuel gauge? Well, it reads empty, so get in on this lap to read fuel. Okay. I don't understand. I don't know what to do in this race. we still got like a lap and a bit worth of fuel. I don't know what to do with the tyre situation. Is it time for dries? Can we still... Make it last on the intermediate tyres. Are we even going to get dry tyres on the next stop? So many unknowns. I want to risk it. And we continue to go faster, by the way. Okay, let's let's think this out rationally. The tyres should still be fine. There's lots of spray. Fuel-wise, it says we've still got one lap. Now, you can run a full lap with zero amount of fuel. We get to the final corner and we still have one lap. We're doing another lap. If not, we're coming in. You're now only five laps to the finish. Keep at it. We've just gone zero. No, damn it, we've just gone zero. Okay, we gotta come in. I've gotta request a pit stop. Request the pit stop. Request the pit stop. I'm coming in, whether you guys know it or not. Oh my goodness, this is uh Amateur hour here, almost crash in the pit lane. So, um, I don't know if we're going to get stopped here because we've gone one lap past our recommend. We're not getting serviced. Fantastic. And now we might possibly run out of fuel at the end of this lap. Okay, I'm going to take it really, really cautious. We've lost the pit stop now and we're... That's annoying. I was pressing the select button. The request pit stop button, it was shining in yellow. But nothing was happening, despite pressing it many times. Looks like there's been an incident at turn 7. Is that a Renault going slowly? It's Alonso! It's Alonso! <laughs> That's a throwback. You're just inside the top 10 of the minute. But how much longer will that last? I do not know. It is fully dry now. Tires are red. we have got no fuel left. I'm saving like crazy. And we're about to fall outside the top 10. To say things are dire are an understatement. I'm just short shifting like crazy. I think I'm gonna have to lift and coast into the spoon. All three tires are red. Let's lift. I've just got to make sure I can get to the pit lane. If I can coast to the pit lane, that'll be okay. I'm still not getting the the pit stop thing. I'm pressing select. I want to pit stop. There we go, it's gone green, it's gone green. Thank goodness. It's on this lap, gonna be okay if you stop this lap. Okay, we're in. We are in, we have actually survived. For a second there, I honestly thought we weren't gonna make it. <sighs> this may not turn out too bad, there's been... This has been a crazy old race. Oh, what? I pressed L1? Come on. Nine point three seconds stop. Not too bad, but man, what a what a crazy race. We might we might even be now. Uh, we're pretty much in our qualifying position. While your tires are blue, don't go crazy. Wait till they're green and you have optimum traction. But now we have the pace, we have the fuel, 
We have the tires. Let's see if we can get through the field. And, and, and as well, like with the rest of the AI, are they still on intermediate tires? Do they need to stop again? Probably not. I'm going to push on like they need to anyway. I tell you what, the grip feels fantastic. I almost have no doubt in my mind that we've got dry tires on now. I'm going fast, but I'm not actually catching Scott Speed ahead. It's a bit frustrating. He's just pulled away by a second. This might, I'm absolutely flying, by the way. I'm, I'm pushing like crazy, but he's still a backmarker. And the Toro Rosso is still faster than me. So this is going to be an interesting round. If we make it through to Season 5, being a championship contender, we need to make sure that we're in a good standing, uh, you know, points-wise, because this could be a dead round for us. Even in the top team, the AI are so strong. One of the BMWs has taken a bite out of the safety barrier. It's Heidfeld! <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy race. For a second, I thought James Allen was going to say he's taking a bite out of the safety car. Now that would have been... Uh, that would have been a sight to see. That's it. Montoya takes first place. Massa will hang on to finish in second. Bloody hell. What a race. Montoya. <sighs> I mean, say what you want about the performance of our car today and just me in general. Not, not being up to scratch. There was a phase where we could have almost got a half decent result out of it today, but Fortune was not quite on our side. But at least we can say we got to the end of this one. I, for a few minutes there, was really thinking that was going to be our demise, but yeah, this really is thankfully we got through. Circuit, and it always brings us a fascinating race. It's an incredible challenge for any Grand Prix team to get the car balanced around here, and that makes for fantastic action and plenty of surprises. So Montoya gets the win in the end there, 1.4 seconds to Massa, Fisichella third, Jensen Button fourth, Michael Schumacher in fifth, Coulthard, Rosberg, Liotzi, Villeneuve and Raikkonen rounding out the top 10. Such a weird race though, I mean, um, whoever like stayed out long there would have really, really benefited um, by just switching straight to the dry tyres. I feel like some of the front runners really got caught out today. Um, and then you've got the retirements of like Alonso, Ide and Heidfeld, uh, Albers and Trulli. So, yeah, quite a crazy race in the end there. We still didn't finish last. I mean, we beat one of the MF1 cars. So, I mean, there's that, but... I can't help but feel a little bit disappointed. I, I really wanted to show off our, our true potential. Just were robbed in qualifying in, in the race. We were never really able to get going. But driver's standings, Felipe Massa now assumes the lead of the championship now. Heading into the final race in Brazil. We haven't, well, we've, we've seen how that ends before. Um, in terms of us, I didn't catch whether we were jumped by um, any of the Hondas. Fingers crossed we're not. Raikkonen drops down to ninth. Um, Albers and Liotzi switch places. In terms of the constructors, uh, McLaren have jumped back in front of us with their win um, through Montoya. So, heading into the final race of the season, we, we've got to claw back that spot for McLaren. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting now as we head into the final season. Your performance at Suzuka just wasn't good enough for a Panasonic Toyota Racing first driver. We expect a higher finishing position from your next race. Thanks for the support, guys. You can you can be an absolute demon all season, but if you have one bad race, I mean, that's it. You're, you're, you're toast. F1 can be a bit like that sometimes, but... Yeah, I mean... Maybe we should sign the contract before they change their minds about that first driver placing. But we're going to advance time. We're going to see if anything unfolds for us. Um, as we head to the final race of the season. Recruitment. I mean, it's still... It still says like one notification there, which is uh, a little bit off-putting. But anyway, that nothing really to say. We're going to go off and do the final race of the season in the next episode, the finale of Season 4. We won the last race last season, so that's a good omen um, to finish off this season. Hopefully we can get the W once again and uh, potentially knock on the door of a few of those front-running teams. Thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies about the, the pace. I don't know, the, the lack of battling. We did battle with some of the backmarkers there, but I was almost kind of expecting it heading into this race. Um, Japan, the AI are just so damn tough around this circuit. And uh, the rain certainly didn't make things any better. But it was a crazy old Grand Prix. 
for a few minutes there. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to finish, but good in the end there that we actually did finish and uh, we're actually able to, to save our Grand Prix at some point. But thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And see plenty more F1 gaming content. And until the next video, the finale of Season 4. I'll see you guys next time.